remember how many reps that first set was, but that second set was definitely a lot lower than the first. <laughs> so usually I can't count. This is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let you know, man, that your mind is being consumed. Yeah, right. But you can't count like, like, yo, I'm giving it all. Brain power, this is <laughs> it's like It's like gone, literally. It's like, it's like, okay. That's why, like, I like to keep track of my workouts. Mm -hmm. Because I know I can't, like, count for shit. <laughs> so. But it gets to, goes to show that how much you put into it, man. Yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. also another thing. Um. A lot of guys like to make things complicated by just like overthinking everything. I don't do that. <laughs> I just train, literally. I'm not, not everyone's like that, but at the same time you can't like overcomplicate everything. You just go in, give it all you got and get out. It's really simple. apply the right level of intensity is like of course your load your load is super important when you're training like if you're training with like a really light load but you're doing like five sets that's not really enough to drive up that intensity i mean it can be but it all depends on how you uh, arrange it so my personal thoughts on how to apply the right intensity in a sense of um volume the lower your volume the higher your intensity is going to be why is that a thing? Because if you have a low amount of volume per workout session, you can actually pump out a lot more work capacity than if you had like a higher load. I mean, it still does the exact same thing, but it's a little different with lower volume. Because with lower volume, you're realistically able to lift more, but have a lot more energy and then do really hard sets, and then you're done. So that's quite essentially that. Now, to talk about high volume. This could also drive intensity just as well, but you're not gonna go ridiculously heavy on your load. You may be, instead of going like 90 to 95% for working set, you can drop that a little bit to 70 to 80% aim for higher reps, higher volume, higher reps, and overall increases your intensity with high volume, and then with lower volume, lower reps, have your load, Overall, that increases your intensity as well. So, there are both, there are different methods to apply more intensity to your training. Like I just explained, if you are training with a higher volume, you're gonna cut your total work capacity, your workload, a little bit lower than you would if you were doing lower volume. So, instead of doing, like I said, 95%, just drop it to 70, 75 or 85%, and then train for 10 to 15, reps or more whatever you can to increase the intensity so that's one way to do it and for lower volume train 95 percent drop your uh, reps to maybe six to eight six to ten bang that out till failure or at least have a few reps in reserve so this way you're doing one to two maybe three sets but overall your intensity is a lot higher because your weight your load is so much heavier than if you were to do a higher volume. <clears throat> Why do I say that? Find out, I'm getting closer to my uh, working set. This is my third warm-up set. It's uh, 140. Yes, I warm up with 140 pounds. <laughs> I'm not the strongest person in the world, but hey, it is what it is. on that one that's good man 
as I'm getting closer to my working set, I kind of want to discuss a little bit about why I do these one to two or two to three sets. I train extremely low volume, <laughs> but my intensity is ridiculously high because you're about to find out. Because every time I do train, I'm literally almost about to cry. So there's that. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I even got the shirt on it. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, I'm getting, I'm in school now to be, to be a, a personal trainer. Oh, yeah, nice. And I actually got the leisure. I got, I got a bed date off. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, actually, I want to say. I don't know.